show you want to meet a giraffe. Well, just so happens that I happen to be a giraffe. Just come over and meet me. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool motion graphic kind of like transition open thing. And it looks cool. Uh, yeah. So, first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get, grab everything in our scene, just drag a box over top of everything, hit delete on our keyboard, and get rid of all of that because we don't need it right now. Next thing we're going to do is hit Shift A. And we're going to search for two things. So we're going to search for our camera. We'll put our camera back in our scene. Hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear location and rotation. Um, then hit G-Y and then just move the uh, camera backwards like that. And then hit R-X. And then on your numpad, hit 9 and 0 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Hit Enter to confirm that. And now we're ready to go ahead and hit Shift-A once again and add in our mesh plane now this plane is going to be a um is going to be the thing that kind of closes in so what we need to do is we need to hit rx and then 90 once again to confirm that and hit enter to confirm that sorry um to rotate it so that it's facing the camera hit zero to go into the camera's view now we're gonna hit s x to scale s uh yeah s x to scale this on the x axis like that um, hit G, Z to move it down, and then just like R and Y to rotate on the Y axis and stuff like this. I'm just basically trying to get it so that it's a, a little diagonal and it kind of goes across the center here. So let's just zoom in all the way until we get to this little crosshair. Um, and then hit just like, just hit like G, Y, or not G, Y, sorry, R, Y, rotate it around a little bit until it kind of goes across the center of this um, little uh, circle here. And then we can just scroll on back out. Um, I'm going to hit G and then double tap, um, double tap X to move this up like this. So it's a little more in the center. So it's not like down here. So let's move it up like this. G double tap X. And then I'm going to hit tab and then just grab these last two vertices down here and then hit G and then double tap Y and then we'll move it down so that it covers all of the piece of the camera down here. So there's no gaps like because there was a gap. Oh, there, they, there was a gap like this piece right here. So just hit the uh, double tap um, G and the double tap Y to get rid of that little uh, piece right there. So with that done, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and actually put the um, put the origin on this cursor. So let's go ahead and hit object set origin um, origin to 3D cursor. Now you can see when we rotate this, it'll rotate around this little point that we just made right there. We can also hit tab and, and move these top pieces in by hitting um, by hitting G and double tapping X. So it's like a little more streamlined. And then these two, drag a box over top of these two, hit G, double tap X, move it in. Just so it's a little more um, like smaller so we can deal with it a little bit easier. Um, now with that done, let's go ahead and hit um, shift D to duplicate this. Right click to cancel the movement. And then hit R and then Y. And then on your numpad, um, hit 180. So it just flips to the completely opposite direction. Hit enter to confirm that. And now you can see we have two of these little pieces here that we can make open um, when we start animating. So let's go ahead and do this animation. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the second tab and change the frame rate. It's from 24 to 60. Now that we have that all good and ready to go, I'm going to change my start frame to zero. And we're going to go to the zero frame right here. There we go. As you can see, um, now we need to go ahead and animate this. I'm going to go ahead and make it so that it opens. So both of these have to open at the same time. Um, on frame zero, I'm going to hover my cursor over top of our um, 3D viewport. Hit I, insert a location keyframe. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and move to about frame 10. And then hit G and double tap Y to move this way back here. Hit I, location, and then I'll maybe frame 50, hit G, double tap Y, and move it all the way out of the camera's view so it's not in, the, in there anymore. Now, with that done, let's do the same thing with this one over here. So hit I, location, and then on frame 10, G, double tap Y, not X, sorry, double tap uh, Y, move it about right there, and then hit I, location, go to frame 50, and then move it off. There we go. Nice. With that done, you can see that when we play this, it looks like that, which is really cool. It looks like it opens up. But I also want to make, make, want to make it close just because, you know, why not? So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. I, location, then on frame 110. G, double tap Y, move it about almost to where it needs to go. Hit I, location, and then we will go ahead and grab the zero frame and then hit Shift D 
duplicate that and then move it to about frame 150. Now, as you can see, when it closes in, it'll close all the way back to where it goes. So same thing with this one, frame 100, hit I location, go to frame 110, hit I, oh, sorry, hit move it up first. Um, G double tap uh, Y, I location, and then on frame 150, we'll just grab that, uh, that frame on zero, hit shift D, duplicate that and put it on frame 150. So now when we play this, you can see it does like this. Open, wait, 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 close, which is very cool. So let me go ahead and turn my camera's viewport um, all the way right here. Uh, just turn that all the way up so we can see only what the camera sees. Turn my overlays off so we can also only see what the camera sees. And now we can see that it opens and closes. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. That is it. That's how you make an opening and closing little motion graphic kind of transition or whatever you want to use it for. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.